Today I'm going to take a look at an operating system that I knew nothing about 10 minutes ago. Uh, there is a viewer of this channel that sent me an email a day or two ago and in his email he mentioned this particular OS, it's called Bliss. Uh, I wrote it down, put it in my to-do list, you know, something I might want to take a look at at some point. So I went to their website, the Bliss website, at blissroms.com, I'll link it in the description. And I was blown away by first the website, pretty quality website. <clears throat> also, how they describe this OS. It is an open source operating system based on Android. And it's supposed to work on mobile devices, of course, phones, tablets, but it's also supposed to work on your PC. So today I'm going to see if I can get this thing installed inside VirtualBox. Let's check it out. Of course, I said I was going to see if I could get this installed inside VirtualBox. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just try to run it live off the ISO. Before we do that, though, let's check out their website. I mentioned the Bliss website at blissroms.com. Uh, when you first go to their homepage, you have this little blurb at the top, Bliss, an open source OS based on Android that works on, and then it shows you a picture of a phone, a picture of a, computers, a computer monitor, and of course a picture of a tablet. So again, it's supposed to work on all devices. Now, reading a little bit about Bliss, our focus is to bring the community a quality OS that can run as a daily driver, syncing your apps, settings, and customizations across all platforms you run Bliss on. Bliss comes with a wide selection of customization options, functions, and, it's an even, and is even themable out of the box using rootless substratum. With so many options available, you will soon find out why we call it Bliss and various downloads. I chose a nightly download if I go to Bliss OS for PCs and laptops. Go to System Downloads and I went to Nightly. I just pulled down the latest Nightly build and the latest ones are actually at the bottom of this list. I pulled down this one here from August 7th which was what, yesterday. 1.1 gigs in size so a pretty small ISO. Let me fire up a VM real quick and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I created a VM. Now the, this VM, because I'm booting directly off the live media, the live ISO, the live image, this would be the same for you guys if you've ever run anything off a live DVD or a live USB. Same, same thing here, so I did not need to create a hard drive for this virtual machine, a virtual hard drive, so I don't have to worry about any of that. I did give this VM four gigs of RAM, which should be more than enough. Again, this is an Android based OS. One gig would have probably been fine. Uh, other than that, I will tell you uh, when you create a virtual box VM for an Android based OS, you need to choose Linux. And then for the type of Linux, you need to choose Linux, what? 2.x, 3.x, 4.x, whatever that particular setting is. Also, mouse integration. The mouse does not work with the default VirtualBox setting for mouse integration, which is, I think, USB tablet. You need to change that to PS2 for mouse integration, and then the mouse will function correctly for you. All right, already we have uh, something crashing. Process system isn't responding. So let's see. Let it capture my mouse, and the mouse does appear to be working. Close out. All right. Hi there, English United States. That's good for me. All right. It's checking for updates. So very much like Android. I'm very much like Android. It wants to know do we want to go ahead and copy our data from any kind of cloud syncing services we might have? Uh, I'm not sure if I could actually do that or not. I do have an Android phone. I don't know if I could get my stuff from my phone here in this VM. I'm not going to attempt it though. I might have some personal stuff I don't want uh, recorded on this video anyway. So I'm just going to set up as new. Get a fresh start. Just a second. While it takes a second, I will take a sip of my morning beverage. Coffee. Cup of Joe literally a cup of joe if you guys are not familiar with joe's brand coffee it's great i like the one in the red bag which is the medium roast 
let's see, sign in with Google account. So I need to sign in. So let me pause the video for a second. I uh, will try to log into my Google account. Okay, so I ran through the rest of the uh, installation screen. Uh, I didn't record all of that because it did contain some personal information. But if you guys have ever done a first time install or run through or a factory reset on a phone, you know, the standard questions Android asks you and asks you, do you want to, you know, sync all of your programs and apps, your personal data, you know, what kind of web services do you want to connect to, that sort of thing. Of course, it asks you to log into your Google accounts. Anyway, this is Bliss as is. Of course, it might be geared to some of my personal settings. I don't know. Again, I did have to sign into my Google account, but it doesn't look like it pulled down like any of the apps that I use on a daily basis because nothing is here. Uh, it looks like all we have is the Play Store, the Chrome browser, Gmail, which I don't use, um, text messaging contacts, and, and our gallery. We do have our little Google widget at the top. It did ask me what launcher I wanted to use. It gave me the option of three different launchers. I choose uh, Pixel 3 because that was the default. I, I didn't really know the difference between any of the three launchers that it was asking me about. Any of them, I'm sure, would have been fine for me. Let's see. Let me capture my mouse here. If I click up here, does it give me my notifications? It does. Wow. List statistics. And of course, it has some virtual box stuff for transferring photos and media. Well, this actually really works kind of well in a VM. I'm actually surprised. Uh, I've tried some other Android OS's before in a VM and I just couldn't get them to work at all. Uh, I'm actually surprised everything just kind of works here. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, let's see if I can figure out what kind of apps are installed. So if I click this little arrow here, I'm assuming all of this is already installed on this screen. So YouTube, of course, is here. Might already be synced to my stuff so if i go to yeah it's got my channel so i'm already i guess logged in here and here is the youtube app of course looks like the youtube app on android very cool let me sign out of this i don't need to see this anymore how do i get out of all of this okay and let me go back to the apps that are here uh yeah, nothing really I use much other than, you know, obviously making phone calls, text messages, the Chrome browser. Um, that's pretty much all I do on my phone. I'm not a big mobile computing kind of person. But you know what? Let's open up the Play Store and see if we can install, I don't know, something else. You know what? You guys know I have a Discord server. Let's, let's install Discord just to see if we can get something installed here and it looks like it's downloading that pretty fast only 35 megabytes mm, okay and it's installing all right let's see if we can open it all right now let me log in I'll do this off camera, of course. All right, and I've logged into Discord. Uh, it's telling me some what's new information. I don't need to know all of that. Let me see if I can just go to my Discord server here, my, or my Discord channel, that is. Yeah, and there's a few people in the channel. Hey. Good morning, all. I'll write them a quick message. Just checking in. Actually recording this message on camera for a video later. So, no cursing, please. And of course, people are going to say hi to me. Uh, I will pause the video for a minute, talk to these people for a second, and then I'll get out of this and continue taking a look at Bliss. All right, and I had to chat to the folks hanging out in the Discord channel.
let them know exactly what, what I was doing. <laughs> and I had to tell them all bye. Let me see if I remember how to close out of Discord, at least the mobile app of Discord. I don't usually do Discord on mobile. I don't do it on my phone. I usually do it on the desktop. I wonder if I just back out all the way. Of course, it's not going to log me out doing it that way. I think it's uh, down here in the settings, maybe. Where do I log out? Oh, here's the button. Log out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. One thing about the, uh, like you have desktop apps for some things and then mobile apps for some things. The mobile app is always different than the desktop app. Now, it's two different form factors, of course, I understand. But it can be very confusing. You know, how does Discord work on my phone? How does the Discord work on my main PC? Completely different. Same thing with things like Mastodon. When I view Mastodon in the browser, of course, on my main computer, I view it in the Tootdon mobile app on my phone. Everything's different. Everything is in a different place. It does take some getting used to. Anyway, it put Discord here on my desktop. I did notice the Google uh, search widget went away. Oh, oh uh, now I have two different, I guess, workspaces. Well, I don't need two different workspaces. The only app I've installed so far is Discord. Can I move that to the first? Can I drag it? Not sure if that functionality exists with the mouse. I guess not. Anyway, that's pretty cool. If I go back to the Play Store, pretty much, you know, all of your your standard uh, Android apps are here. I mean, I could install things like Spotify and Pandora. Of course, if I use those services, I can install, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the social media stuff. Of course, the bazillion games that are available in the Google Play Store. Matter of fact, that might be an, an interesting use case for keeping a VM of an Android based operating system around is to play those Android games on a PC, on your you know desktop or your laptop in a VM, or there's no reason to do it in a VM. I think you could install it on physical hardware. Uh, I got some extra drives I would do that on. I probably wouldn't try to live in this. I mean, could you live in Android, or in this case, Bliss, which is an Android-based OS, on a laptop? Yeah, you probably could. You could probably get by with it. You could kind of turn it into a Chromebook, I guess, because you can do so much in the Chrome browser these days. I don't see why you couldn't do that. I think uh, you would have a better laptop experience, though, running a proper Linux distribution. But this is not bad, just uh, you know, spending a few minutes here in a VM with it. And I'm still just playing around in the VM here. I really didn't plan on doing too much with this because there's not much to do in Bliss. There's no apps really installed by default and I'm not going to sync all my personal stuff to this VM. I mean I could get all my personal data. Let me get out of this Google page here. I'm sure if I synced all my stuff, you know, like all my contacts and phone numbers and everything would be here. I didn't do any of that, so all of this stuff is empty. All the phone stuff. Uh, I probably, I mean, I'm not going to be making phone calls or sending text messages anyway on something like this because I didn't actually install it to a phone. There's no service. Um, we have our gallery. Of course, that's going to be empty. If I had synced all my data, it probably would have all my pictures and whatnot here. Um, let's see what other apps. Is there anything that's a little strange about Bliss OS compared to standard Android? I will say it is interesting that they have a terminal emulator here and they also have Super SU. So a super user uh, gives you root privileges over your device, I guess. If I open up the terminal emulator, is it a proper terminal emulator? It is very small font though. Wow, I wonder if I can change that. Is there any way to I go to preferences? Font size, yes, okay. And a 10 point font is very small for what we're doing. Let's see if we go to 24 point font. Will it automatically adjust it? It does. So this is very cool. So if I did a uname dash A, yeah. Linux localhost 4.16.5, so very recent uh, Linux kernel, Android kernel. I'm sure I could, because it has this terminal, I could SSH 
into one of my physical machines like that laptop behind me and get some you know personal files from my laptop I could you know because I have a actual terminal emulator and this is it is Linux based Android again is Linux based there is an actual Linux kernel at the heart of everything now of course in, with Android uh, there's all this Java stuff on top of it it's basically a Java user space I'm not sure if Bliss OS is you know that uh, closely tied to the Java stack that Android is but probably is because Bliss OS again is based on Android but I like having a proper terminal if I have a terminal I can do anything so I like that and if I click super SU let's see what happens uh, the screen rotated I don't like that and now I can't really I have no idea how my mouse is supposed to function <laughs> why did it rotate the screen uh, I might have to kill the VM at this point either that or figure out how to get well wow, this is very strange to figure out how to work the mouse when the screen is not oriented right I really want to just get out of this please make it I can get there okay almost to the button <laughs> okay will it please reorient the screen it won't <laughs> oh anyway that's about all I wanted to do with this anyway so that is a very quick look at bliss OS Android base OS that runs on all form factors phone tablet PC laptop um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna keep this uh, this ISO, this VM here. I might actually try to install it, and you know, create a virtual hard drive in this VM and actually run through the install process and keep this long term. See how stable it is. See if you know things break. See if because you know one thing I've I've had on physical devices, phones, is you know sometimes Android updates do break things. So might be something I, I keep long term for a few weeks just to play around in, see how it goes. I really would be interested in playing some of the Android games in a VM. See how you know how viable of a gaming platform that would be to keep a VM of Android around just for gaming. And before I go, I do need to give a special thanks to all my patrons, all my Patreon supporters. I'm talking about AK, Alan, Alex, Ansem, Tony, Bart, Benjamin, Ben, Bruno, Brian, Carlos, Christian, Chuck, Dan, the other Dan, da Daniel, David, the other David, Eduardo, Greg, Humade, Interceptor, Jake, John, Carl, Katrina, Keith, Leor, Marcus, the other Marcus, Matt, Mark, Martin, Matthias, Michael, Mr. GFY, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Neely Pops, Paul, Rob, Robert, Ron, Silvio, First Steven, Second Steven, Third Steven, Swami, Tiedemann, Voice Live, Tubella, and John. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.